Here we are at New River Mall, AKA the outlets at New River. Uh, I used to come here a ton as a kid. Haven't been here in quite a few years, so we're gonna check it out, see what's still here, see what's changed, and uh, just do a little mall vlog. <laughs> I love science and hiding my boner. Oh, the back of my head itches. <laughs> so I think that was, that was Bugle Boy right there, the Ann Taylor factory store. I used to go and do my back to school shopping with my mom and my grandma. Oh, we love Bugle Boy. When I was like, you know, six. Oh, it's crazy so many of these are out of business. Yeah. yeah. I was going to say, I think there used to be a thrift store here. <laughs> I don't know if it was indeed a Skechers at the time. Oh, this is nice. Trace. It's nice. Nice and cool. This is pretty. It's got, it's got like a Disneyland when you first enter kind of vibe. Yeah, dude, look at all these businesses all that, that shit are over closed. There. Now, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure Fuzzy Wigs, the candy store, was in one of these two. And now it is no more. Yeah. It was right in this general area, right in the middle. Yeah, I want to say like there. And you looked in the window, and they had these crazy like mannequins. There was like a monkey pedaling a bicycle. And then they had one where it was like a mad scientist like, at his desk with all his beakers and stuff that's around so cool. him with like candy in him. Oh, that's so cool. And I seem to recall the monkey was actually in the, you could see him in the window pedaling. I miss thematic stores in general. Like yeah, that. it was really cool. It was really cool. Oh, they got something kind of cool up here. What is this? What uh, is it? Cookie Company? Cookie Company. Yeah, that we'll wasn't get closer. there. That the playground wasn't there. That's new. <laughs> Dude, it's crazy how many of these are closed. Like, look on each side. Like, there's a lot of businesses that are just gone. Yeah, strange. It's guess, still the parking lot out front was packed though. Oh, it's popping. Yeah, I bet the food court's gonna be busy if Weird. we go take yeah. a look in there. Yeah. Chocolate chip cookie company. Ooh. I may partake. Looks like a place that would uh, be very fly by night. Like, yeah. Come back tomorrow and it's gone. Yeah. <laughs> it was all in your imagination, man. Oh, very magical. Under Armour. Dude, look at these. All closed. I guess that's just the way of the mall. Oh, look at the baby corgi. Baby corgi, baby okay. corgi. So precious. <laughs> you wanna get some cookies? I got a cookie. We're getting a goddamn cookie. Let's get a goddamn cookie. So I got a cup of cookies, and uh, our friends inside are making some delicious stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Would you guys like to say hi for our vlog? Sure. Sure. Hi. Hey guys. <laughs> Thank you. Yep. my memory serves me correctly, I believe Subway was right over there. It might still be a Subway. No, Platters and Kids Meals, no, no, it's different. But it was like right over there. I'm glad to see it's still busy. It's kind of cool. Yeah. Got a cozy vibe. Really? A burger of that size and a milkshake with that figure? Bullshit. That's what boys eat. I just want to say the ladies that worked at Ann Taylor were uh, bitches. <laughs> we asked them, like, did this used to be Bugle Boy? They're like, what's that? That sounds weird. I don't know. <laughs> you know even the old lady that should have known, who's been, looked like she's been here forever, she was like, no. She's like, none of those places exist anymore. And they, they were real shitty. I didn't like their tone. <laughs> I agree. The second docking bay. With the mystical tower. The mystical tower. Yeah. And there's some kind of tent up over here. And a bell. I love the bell. Yeah, the little bell. The bell. Cool. And the band. The bell and the band. You really don't see outlet malls that much anymore. And if you do, usually they suck. Yeah. And they're like just a few sparse stores, barely hanging on for life, you know? Places like this are kind of rare. Yeah, true. Mm -hmm. This is how I remember it really looking, except with businesses actually being open. Yeah, this is really depressing, man. Like, all of these shops are empty. It's crazy. Back in the 90s, early 2000s, these were all filled up. This lady has been following us the entire vlog, making so much fucking noise.
Uh, the giant Christmas tree. A new river mall staple. You know what's crazy is a few years ago this actually I think burnt down or knocked over. Oh wow, really? Maybe a huge thing? Maybe both. <laughs> I know so. That's why they have those wires up now. Yeah, maybe it knocked over. Something weird like that's that. Crazy. Yeah. What the hell are you looking at? Get a, sh get a shot of the constipated soccer player. Here it is. Santa's house. Check it out. It's Santa's real mailbox. And his sleigh. Well, they have to <laughs> Doesn't even have an alarm system. It's crazy. It's hilarious that they decided to put this like white paper and black ink, very basic um, sign on the mailbox that says Santa's mailbox. <laughs> like it should be implied. It ruins, ruins the vibe. And yeah, it's like who else's <laughs> mailbox is it going to be? Exactly. <laughs> Satan's mailbox. Satan's house. And <laughs> Sit. How are you doing? Sit. <laughs> oh, so cute. So cute. All right. In the food court we go. Here we are inside this is like the food court. A, a living room area in the food court. I like it. Yeah, and from what I remember, where the famous walk is, that used to be Subway. I mean, it's very nice in here. You know, you have all the I love it. We were just talking about how, for some reason, the amount of stores that are closed and the amount of people don't sync up at all. Yeah. A lot of stores are closed, especially along this main strip here. I would say like 75% of there's them. There's still a lot of people, yeah. We just got out of the, the uh, food court area and it was, it was thriving, it was popping. I think this was like a new mall, yeah. or like early 2000s kind of vibe in there. But um, yeah, it's yeah something, something doesn't make sense. Yeah, it's almost know. like the, the facade, like in the front, like Under Armour and all these stores. They're all open, yeah. but when you go deeper into the mall, everything's pretty much closed. Exactly. For the most part. Hello. Hi there. Yep. Yeah. Beautiful. Jammer Toy Company. My favorite. Oh. Oh, wow. Very cool. Like a classic store. Good. good man. You mind if I take a couple shots inside? No, go ahead. Cool. We're just documenting the mall. I haven't been in this mall in like over 10 years. Okay. So. Sick for sure. Oh, those are badass. Boba Fett. Boba Fett. Darth Maul's ship. Those are those are like uh, micro machines. Yeah. That's super those are cool. Boba Fett ship down there. This is Emmett's favorite toy. My new ride. Oh, sweet. And my new game. It's your homies. Yeah, this place has the potential to be great. Oh, there she is again. <laughs> She's gonna go straight to my thighs. <laughs> anyway, yeah, man. And like I said, this used to be a really, really nice mall. And it still is a very nice mall. It's just there's really hardly any stores open. Yeah. It's like, people still seem to love coming here. And there's, a, like Emmett said, an inordinate amount of people yeah. <laughs> shopping and there's only like 20 stores open. It's, it's got a very cozy vibe, it's very well landscaped, it feels like an older mall but like still well kept and um, well groomed. Yeah. So it's, it's nice in that respect but yeah, there's just like a lot of the, the inner stores are just all gone. It's just like the pink scaffolding, the black and the, yeah, yeah. it's just all too bad. It's a bummer man, but hey, at least it still has a little bit of a pulse. Yeah. Here's the outlets at New River Directory. Closed, 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 <laughs> closed, 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 closed. And here they've got the big ornament balls. Big red balls. Big red balls.
The infamous Christmas tree. We meet again. <laughs> now, even back in the day, this was a uh, part of the mall I would like never go to. Just, I can see why. Yeah, this side just had like no interesting stores, yeah. and it really still doesn't. Kelvin Klein. The Gap. Ooh, is this a little hallway here? I like mall hallways. This is a spot. But like in between. Ooh, the covered parking. You know, I don't even know what that looks like. This At this location. Hello. Hi, I'm Yumaya. I have a, can I take this off? Sure. Good. My channel is Maya Maya. We used to work together. So yes. I'm so glad I ran into a friend. Um, yeah, check it out. We'll link want. it in the description. Yeah, for sure. All right, well, good seeing you. Yeah, you too. It was good to see you. How do you spell it? <laughs> M-Y. Okay. O-H. M-Y? M-A-Y-A. M-A-Y. So like Maya Maya. <laughs> Made again. Well, you gotta say, man, walking around this outlet mall really brings back some memories. Brings back some really positive childhood memories of uh, being here with my grandparents and my mom and walking around. And it's nice to see it still has a little bit of life, but to be honest with you, I don't know how much longer it's gonna last. Just looking at how few stores are here, but it was definitely nice to walk around. I concur. Makes sense. Maybe this was Bugle Boy, I don't know. I like the, the turquoise and purple. That's how I like my closed stores to look. Nice and closed. The old Diamondback colors. Yeah. I think. When you see these malls that, that still retain their like 90s, early 2000s vibe, mm -hmm. um, but there's a lot of portions of them that are dead. I think that's where that creepy pasta, the back rooms came from. Yeah. Because like those those sort of in between sections and malls, where like the cleaning people would go into, and it says like do not enter, and it's kind of like where the bathrooms are, those little hallways. That's totally the vibe of the back rooms, which is a fucking stupid creepy pasta. But um, I see, especially as these malls are dying, that it's sort of that like beige corporate, very vacant but yep. still clean yep. sort of eeriness yeah we saw a lot of it this mall 100 percent. yeah but the facade the front is still like it's popping if you go out to that very front by the christmas tree yeah there's the music there's a bunch of people it looks lively but you go in like 20 feet into the actual mall and then you see, you see this dead yeah, it's, yeah weird. it's weird it's, it's a weird, weird combo Maybe this is where Bugle Boys was. I don't know. All right, so all right, so all in all, it was a really nice experience. Um, nice little walk down memory lane made me think of my grandparents and coming here with my mom back in the day when I was a little kid. And it was kind of happy and sad. You know, it's like that aspect is happy and still seeing that the food court's alive and stuff is pretty cool. But it's also sad because I'm kind of looking at the trajectory of it and like 75% or more of these stores are closed. So I don't know how much longer this mall is gonna last, but Either way, glad we checked it out, glad we documented it. Remain unfazed, guys. How much does a Coca-Cola cost in 2021? We don't know. $90. <laughs> doesn't say. It really doesn't say. Check the Pepsi machine. Three dollars for a Gatorade. Not, I've seen worse. Still kind of Still a rip. Pretty bad, yeah. Kind of a rip. You know, come to think of it, maybe this is where Bugle Boy was. Looking inside, let me get a shot here. Yeah, I think this was Bugle Boy. <laughs> pretty sure. Ninety-nine point nine percent sure. <laughs> I think this was Bugle Boy. They're coming over there. Maybe over there, not sure.